so now this is the project for group one and if you check your grade section you will be able to see that uh, for the other two it shows not assigned now let's create a similar one and this time we'll try to create a project for group two and it's always better to name it like that so that you can easily identify for whom the project is now this time when i'm going to select the students i will only select these two so this is how these two students now become a part of the group and project for group two will be assigned to the students here you can add the instructions and whatever formulates the part of the project that needs to be assigned to these two students so you click on assign and yes i am not adding any grade categories so they will not be used for evaluation and when i go to grades i'll be uh, able to see that there is this project group two and these two people have not been assigned it but it will be used for these two people so this is how you can actually uh, assign work in groups to your students now let's uh, look at one more feature that is provided by Google Classroom and that talks about the class code. So if I again click on this settings icon here and just go down, you will be able to see here is the class code for this classroom. This is the way that is used uh, by the students to join this classroom and it also gives you some options. So if you click on this drop down here, you'll be able to see that you can display it, copy it. You can also reset it. So if your students are having problem with this class code, then it also gives you the facility to reset the class code. So now if I click on reset, it will allow you to change this particular class code. So this class code has now been changed. Also, there is this option of disable. Now, disable option will be used if you do not want to allow any more students into your classroom. So now if you want to restrict entry, then what you just have to do is disable this particular class code. Now, once this is done, no more students can join using the class code. At any time, you can enable it again. So now if I click enable, this particular class code is enabled again. And as you can see, a new class code has been generated. And again, the students can join now using this particular class code. So this is how you can actually have control over the class code. OK, so now. If I go back to my main page, there is one more important facility that is provided by Google Classroom, and that is reuse post now let's say i have posted something in the same classroom or in a different classroom previously and i want to use it again so you can see this icon here this says reuse post what you just have to do is click on this and sometimes it takes a little time to load it'll show you the list of classes that are there and then you can select the appropriate class and reuse a post from that. So let me try to open it up again. So this is it. Now let's say I want to select this particular class. And here I'll get the list. So this is one post that I had given there. I can simply click on reuse. And this post will be right here. If you want to make any editing, you can do it. So let's call it, let's change the date. So let's say it is now 1st July or 10th July 20. And click on post. Of course, you can do attach anything right here. So this is how reuse post works. Also, when you go to your classwork and click on create, you have this reuse post thing. Again, it allows you to use some material from some other classroom or for example, this and I click on reuse and it will be open for you for editing and you can use that material right here in this particular classroom also.